Hello everyone, I'm gonna go over the Marauder Juggernaut with zombies and three curses. And I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna start with this. Look at the effective hit pool and the max hits. It doesn't even seem humanly possible. So this is normal, this doesn't have anything on there, but this is for normal mobs. This is insane. So let me just jump in and show you what, what I did with the build. It's a lot like all the rest of my builds. So there's really not much difference. You got unwavering stance, you got mana reservation, you got call to arms to make your war cries instant. So you're gonna be using um during cry for this build to get um, um, endurance charges to help with your resists and help with your um, regen, your life regen. You got iron reflexes. You got intuitive leap with charisma and another reservation efficiency mana, mana node. You got evasion mastery, you got reflexes. Sentinel, Warcry Mastery, with Warcrys they have a minim minimum of 10 power. This allows your Enduring Cry to work without even actually hitting any mobs. So you'll always be getting Endurance Charge stacks, which is really cool. Just throw that on there really quick. So, for pretty much, this is pretty basic of my builds with zombies and three curses but this one is the best this is the best hands down for my builds but i personally enjoy playing the cultist first but this is definitely my favorite the ascendancies are extremely good you can um look at them look at that oh my god unflinching amazing unrelenting amazing untiring amazing the whole you know it doesn't matter what you take but i would definitely take unrelenting and unflinching first actually yeah it doesn't really matter just make sure you take untiring last oh oops that's one too many points sorry about that so let's jump into configurations and this is four actually. So you have an, you have endurance charges from enduring cry that will always be on. Frenzy charges for your minions from inspectors, chieftains from Act Two. You have onslaught from your flasks. You have unholy might through your um talent tree. I put fortified on there, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. We got Elusive from the Wither, the Step Buff, Consecrate Ground from the Flasks, and this stuff is just fluff. You don't really need to pay attention to it. Feeding Frenzy is from your minions. Hitting stuff, the Warcry Power 10 is from your Warcry Cry Mastery. So let's then. Enemies low life. This is for punishment. If you want to get a better idea of how much damage you would do to normal mobs or do without punishment, you just turn it off and see that it's drastic DPS drop. But for the most part, our boss DPS is going to be higher this next patch, so I'm hoping that this will be a lot better. Withering Stacks is 8 if you follow my build to the end, but you can always get more by using a labyrinth enchant and that has plus two to plus three to wither stacks that's up to you and you can also use enhance and power to increase withered stacks as well to increase the cast damage of your pay of your poison and you have your enemies on consecrated ground because you're using bottle of faith with your minions so i'm going to jump in and i'm going to put it on uber pinnacle look at that that's uber pinnacle effectiveness. Hit pool, max hit. That that is extremely good. 
Guardian and Pinnacle Boss. Insane. So, depending on how much damage we do with the new expansion, the bosses with curses, this build might be capable of doing everything in the game. Everything. I'm going to go over the items, the cane, my favorite item, my favorite weapon in the game for my minion builds. You don't need this. You could definitely get a, um, just like a, a made, handmade staff that could equivalent it. So it's really up to you. The helmet stats are pretty good, but you should get an implicit that has despair damage and mana reservation for, for it instead. The chest is good. The stats are good and everything. The elemental implicit's good, but yeah, I think you can get a despair implicit as well. That gives you a lot more damage. The gloves are to make all your damage chaos damage. The boots are for another curse to be able to be applied with your build. The necklace is hard to get, but if you want to, this is probably one of the biggest drawbacks when people look at my build and say, well, this is not a very good league stunt. This is true, but you could always get the normal despair without the temple chains and then use the profane proxy and still have two curses going while adding in the wind shriek reinforced greaves. So you should be fine until you get your two cursed Shaper Elder Necklace. The Bohemoth Ring is pretty self-explanatory. Everyone's going to get a phone ring. This is for another curse, a free curse that you don't have to worry about anything about. But you do have to use the Skitterbots in order to use it. The belt is my favorite belt in the game. It allows your raised zombies and specters to use your flasks. And it increases their damage and their survivability. Whenever I get the chance in the leak start, I always put this belt on at level 30 and allow my pets to be healed with potions. And I give them mana res not mana, I mean I give them elemental resists as well. This can be used for another flash that allows you to use um, Onslaught. This is um, pretty easy to get, I believe. Easy to get. This is hard to get, but you can also use a blue flash that has 40 increased damage with Consecrated Ground on it as well. This is just a fancy one. And this is really easy to get, so. But you can always use the fa the phasing flask, the elemental resist flask, the armor flasks, or you can even use health flasks in order to heal your zombies and specters. So it helps a lot. So let me hop into skills really quick. The zombie build, the zombie is phantasmal, but you could use the normal mode. All these awakening gems can be, you could use the basic of them and still be fine. If you've seen them powered or enhanced, just try to use three if you cannot afford the fourth, the four le fourth level one. So you're using grace for armor with iron reflexes, animated guardian. Withered step I went over is for chaos damage. Desecrate the get your minions up and everything. Punishments on the ring, that's for increased damage at 35% damage. When the mobs hit 35% damage, it's a huge damage increase. The Skitterbots is for another enchant. Enlighten is to reduce the mana cost of all these abilities on the helmet for haste and purity of elements. Purity of elements is very important in this build because you cannot heal yourself. And what Purity of Elements does is it makes you immune to all elemental ailments, which is very important. So when leveling this or using this build, make sure that you have Purity of Elements going. And it always helps to have a Watcher's Eye that'll give you Chaos Resist while using this build, this gem, Purity of Elements. So that's, oh, and the chest is definitely really good. Um, you got temporal chains, 
and despair going on it. I'm not entirely sure what's going to be better for DPS or damage until the actual path of building new release comes out for 320. So this is, this could change. I'm sure it's going to change, but I don't know how much it's going to change, but this is a good base for now. You could use this in 319 if you want to. And everything else is pretty self-explanatory. And that's about it. Went over configuration, items, skills, and everything else. Just as a quick reminder, if you can actually get um, a download res resolve with um, the flame and flesh, it's huge. Just look at that, though. Look at that. Ugh. All right. As always, be safe and be careful, and have a nice day.